is my head in the frame. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a clothing haul. It's all summer or... What am I saying? This is all summer or holiday clothing because I am going on holiday with my boyfriend in June. Even though it's still April now, I am a very organised person. I like to have everything sorted way beforehand. And also, I just like to spend money, so that's why I've got all my stuff. It might look a little bit excessive, we're only going for a week, but I like to have a lot of options. And before buying all of this, I went into my wardrobe and realised I have literally no summer clothes. The reason being, every time winter comes around, I normally sell my summer clothes either because one, I'm broke and I need the cash, or two, I just think by next summer I probably won't wear it or it won't fit me or whatever. So yeah, every year I get to summer, the sun comes out, even though it's currently pouring down with rain, and I think, oh god, I have no clothes. So there's my little justification for the amount of clothes that I've bought. I have a feeling this is going to be quite a long video, but I'll try and keep it short and sweet. First thing I'm going to show you literally just came in the post. I wanted a plain play suit just for the daytime. Also, I'm not going to be trying any of this on. I just really can't be bothered and it'll take too much time. And I also have uni work to do, so priorities. Uh, if you do want to see all of this on, I will try to film a holiday outfit diary and show you my outfits every day. So yeah, fingers crossed I remember. If not, then just go on the website and look at it on the model where it probably looks much better. Yeah, this is just a plain strappy pink play suit. Wraps. I'm here. No, Siri. Goes in at the waist, which I love. And then down into little floaty shorts. So I thought that with just a denim jacket and sandals, really easy outfit. All of my clothes look so tiny, like they are, because I'm really small, but especially when they're off, they look even smaller. So I have this little bralette. It actually does up at the front and it does up like the back of a bra, like the little clasps. This is from Pretty Little Thing, like most of this stuff is. And I thought to go with that, I could wear these Pretty Little Thing shorts. And even though they're really thin, they're so comfy and they're not see-through either, which is really good. But they're just stripy shorts with a little frill around the bottom, so I thought to get that that would be a really cute outfit. Next we have one of my favourite pieces, this is a dress from Boohoo, it's like a satin material and it's just short sleeved with a rather deep V neck, like a big plunge and I haven't got the boobs for that so I will be safety pinning it because it goes literally like right down to my stomach where I'm really small as well so yeah it's a bit revealing, I could wear a bralette underneath it like a black one or something but I love all of the colours, I don't normally wear blue and the bottom has a frill around it like those shorts I just showed you. Next we have an absolute bargain. I went on to ASOS and obviously they have lots of different brands on there. And I found this jumpsuit from Pretty Little Thing which was reduced to £7.50. And there's nothing wrong with it at all. I love this so much and my mum loves it as well. I tried it on she was like I want one. Again this is going to be difficult to show. It's a kimono jumpsuit but it's only three quarter bottoms. So it'll be nice when it's hot and... The bottoms are also culottes. It's this lovely floral print. The sleeves are kimono style, like they're really big, oversized. And then around the waist it has this tie, which I haven't tied up, but you can suck yourself in. As you can see, they're just really wide leg culotte bottoms. So yeah, £7.50 in my size as well. I was buzzing to find this on ASOS. This is again from ASOS, I think it's actually ASOS own brand, yes. I don't know if I'm going to wear this, this is my spare dress or spare outfit. It's literally just a bodycon cotton black mini dress. It's got the nice neckline, it's like bandeau style with a little knot at the front. I doubt you'll be able to see it because it's black. And then it goes in so it's really figure hugging. And it's just plain on the bottom. So yeah, very basic. Again, I could wear with just a denim jacket. And you could wear that in the day with sandals or if I wanted to dress it up in the night I could. So yeah, that's just a spare basic option. Next we have a sundress or beach dress. Is it ASOS own brand? Yes, it is. I love this. I saw this online and I was like, that's not something I would normally wear, but it just looks so cute. So it's just a strappy cotton dress, stripy, navy and white. It ties up just on the shoulder. This one's undone, but you get the idea. It's like a little apron. 
and it's not fitted it's just a skater style dress but look at the bottom not only does it have a little frill which as you can see frills are quite a theme in this video so far but it's got these bright pink pom-poms all the way around and I thought wear that to the beach with my flip-flops with my bikini underneath I just thought that would look so cute and again just practical because you just put it on over your bikini and tie the straps up next we have a cover-up so you can wear this by the pool over your bathers this again is off asos it's very creased i will be washing and ironing everything before i take it don't worry so it just goes down at the front and it's like cinched in at the waist with a little tie and then it goes out into a sort of dress so it kind of looks like a blouse but it's that really nice soft material perfect for if you're just chilling by the pool moving on to the more not really extra when i say extra guys like to this some people would be like that's the most basic bitch shit i've ever seen but i'm a very plain jane i like to just wear plain shorts plain tops so some of this stuff for me is a bit more out there but i thought you know it's a holiday even if i never wear this stuff again it'll be nice just to dress up a little bit so the first thing from pretty little thing is a play suit it's got cold shoulders, so cut out shoulders, and the sleeves are fully mesh, so you'll be able to see through. And they've got a little frill on the end. They are a little bit too long for me, but that's just because I'm tiny. And then the front is like ruched, is that how you say it? And it ties up here, meaning the belly section is cut out. So I'm gonna have to cut down on the carbs before I go on holiday. And just some nice loose shorts, but this is lovely material, even though the mesh is a little bit scratchy. It's got this silk sort of lining underneath, which is really nice. And I just thought with a tan, this would look so pretty in the night. Next, we have a satin dress from Pretty Little Thing in my favourite colour, pink. This is so plain, but I think it looks so elegant. It's got a V-neck and in knots at the front here. And then it just goes down into a maxi dress. But as you can see, it's got a split down the side for your leg which I really like because when I wear things that are maxi style I feel like it makes me look even shorter and like stumpier than I am but with the split it makes my legs look a little bit longer which is quite difficult for my legs because they're like this big but when I put this on I don't feel like drowned in it and I don't feel super small and I thought this would just feel so nice like on because where it's satin it'll stay quite cool and with your leg out as well bless me so then got a really cute two piece from pretty little thing but this was off asos i think i just typed in like co-ord and this came up and i thought i need that so the top is like this it ties at the front in a bow or in a knot i love the print on this i think it's so summery kind of reminds me of a tablecloth but that's fine and then the matching shorts are so cute because when they're on they look like a little mini skirt and i thought together what a cute outfit I've said cute about 20 times in this video already. What can you do? I don't normally like the colour red on me, whether I've got a tan or not. I feel like it washes me out. So even though this is red and white, I would still normally avoid this. But I just thought it's so summery, the pattern, everything. This would look so good in the day or the night. We're almost done with the clothes, guys. This is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I am flipping obsessed. This is a maxi dress. Again, like I said, I don't normally wear anything long, but when I tried this on, I think it's just in my head, like I think I look bad in long things when I kind of look okay, you know? So this has those like stretchy spaghetti straps, covers the boobs, but the bit under your boobs just before your stomach is open, which is really flattering. And then from that point down to the knees, it's covered again. Again, looks like a tablecloth, that's fine. But just after the knees, it opens back into that mesh and it's also got a split on the back, if you can see, so it's not super tight to walk in. Same with that pink satin one because of the slit up the leg, really easy to move in and so is this. And I just thought, what a nice dress, like, probably wear this in the evening with some wedges. But if I show you, it sort of gives me like, not wedding vibes, like I don't think anyone would wear this on their wedding day, but because it's white and lace... Do you see what I mean? It's really hard to show. I'll try and insert a picture of me wearing it because I have tried it on. Final thing is another pretty little thing two-piece. 
it's got to be said guys pretty little thing are really good with summer clothing normally they're a bit hit or miss for me in terms of like normal clothes but for summer clothes two pieces dresses i think you can't go wrong really so this two piece is i know i've said it about a couple of things but it's probably one of my favorites it's little shorts and I love this two-piece purely because of the colours, the greens, the golds and again it comes with the matching top. This top ties at the front as well however it's got long sleeves so I think they're called floop sleeves so it's really loose, really airy and it comes off the shoulder like this top that I'm wearing. It just ties like that. And you can make it as tight or as loose as you want. I actually only have one of these shoes to show you. The other one's in the other room. And I can't be bothered going to get it. And it's still got the wrap around it. But these are literally just gold sandals with the plait detail. And they just tie up your leg. Well, you can tie them just around your ankle. But I like to tie them up around the leg. Like a ballerina. And these are from ASOS. ASOS own brand. And these pretty much go with most of my outfits. Anything that these don't go with, I'm just going to wear plain white sandals. I wanted to take as little shoes as possible, especially seeing as I've got so many clothes and I'm going to probably take so much makeup. I thought just take two flat pairs, one white because white pretty much goes with everything, and one gold pair. And then for any outfits that I want to wear something more dressy I thought I'd get a wedge or a heel. And for most of my night outfits when I want to wear a wedge I think the white beigey colour was the best option to go for. So from River Island, I got these chunky old things. Not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I flipping love espadrilles. They're so comfy because they're just all the same height, if that makes sense. Like, you know those heels that are like stiletto and the angle is like this. Can't walk in those. So a nice chunky platform, really easy to walk in. I wish I did get a size two instead of a three because in heels and stuff I normally size down because my foot tends to slip around. But yeah, I think these are so lovely. They go with most things, like I said. They're this beigey, what is this, like straw? I don't know, like the straw colour. With gold details, gold buckles, and this is like an off-white creamy sort of colour. So these were about £35. I was looking for something a bit cheaper. I know that's not too expensive. They did have cheaper ones on Boohoo, but I just knew the quality from River Island was going to be better and worth paying a little bit more for. Yeah, when I want to look a little bit more dressy, I'm just going to pop these on. I bought one piece of jewellery so far. I'm going to take jewellery that I already have, but I could not get these. They're so random but so cute they're little bamboo earrings i thought this little ball was actually glittery and i was a bit like i don't know if that's going to look nice but it's actually not glittery at all it's like a wicker woven material hopefully you can see those i put them in the other day just to see what they look like and i thought even with just like a plain outfit like white top and denim shorts these would just add something to the look so yeah those are from pretty little thing i think I wanted to get a bag that would go with everything, so I got this from Topshop. It was only £15, which I think is really good, especially for Topshop. And it's just a clear bag. I know lots of people don't like these because you can see what's inside. However, it does come with a little cream pouch, which is squashed on the bottom because I've got other crap in here at the moment. But yeah, you can put your stuff in the pouch if you don't want people to see whatever you might have in your bag. But I bought this purely because of the bamboo handles. I'm just obsessed. Do you see my vibe? Like gold, wooden, all these like brownie tones. Even these shoes, like I think it all matches to me anyway. The one problem, I wasn't really fussed about having a long strap. I didn't think you could even put one on there because there's no side bits, but you can clip it onto these bits here. It came with a black strap and I was just like, it looked like I just put my own strap on there which in fact I ended up doing because I didn't like the black one. I think if you're gonna have like brown and gold, you should have a brown strap. So luckily I have a gray and white bag, which weirdly came with a brown strap and I took it off because I was like, what the hell, that doesn't go either. And then I remembered and look, that's just gonna look so much better. So when I wanna wear it as a crossbody or on my shoulder, I've got my brown strap. If not, I'm happy to just carry it like a handbag. Inside, also from Topshop, we've got some sunnies. I love Topshop sunglasses and I love that they come in a little case as well. 
I do want to get some white sunglasses just to have the option but I'm probably just going to get those from Primark because Primark are really good for glasses and accessories in general but these are like tortoiseshell sunglasses they're a sort of off purple colour like purple and brown I just wanted a dark pair and I'm going to get a white pair they're quite big and I don't think the square shape suits me but I'm not wearing them to suit me I'm wearing them obviously to protect my eyes so yeah my sunglasses but I'm definitely going into Primark for the other ones because they're literally like £2 so it doesn't matter if I lose them or break them. Finally we can move on to bikinis or swimwear. I'll start with the ones from Boohoo. Boohoo had a massive sale on so all of these were so affordable. So I got one swimsuit. I actually prefer bikinis to swimsuits but I had to get this because it's so pretty. It's like a really light blue with these flowers on and it ties up at the front so you can have it looser or tighter. And it's got a nice scalloped edge and the back is open which I love only problem is I think it's a little bit wide like I thought I had wide shoulders anyway but this is quite wide even when I tighten the front so because it has no support on the back I find that when I sort of put it here it has a tendency to want to slip off my shoulders but that's fine it's still cute I then got this neon pinky orange bikini on the website it looked just like normal pink so when it came I was a bit like mm, I didn't really want a neon one but I'm just imagining with the tan this is going to look insane so it's a little bit push up like it's got a little bit of padding which I like it's a halter neck and it also ties at the back and I love having this on bikinis because you can adjust it yourself there's nothing worse than those bikinis which are like clipped on the back so they're just one fit so with these you can make it as tight or as loose as you want and the bottoms for that are these high-waisted ones or high leg. I like it because it covers the lower part of my stomach, which I hate. And finally from Boohoo, I got this high leg. This looks really funny when it's not on because the actual down there part looks super tiny, but it does fit really nicely. This is just like cotton. It's really thin, really soft. And the top to go with it is not padded at all. I find these a little bit more comfortable literally just a little triangle top that looks so tiny don't come for me and it literally just feels like a bra so I love that but the story behind getting a purple one was I bought a bikini on Pretty Little Thing it was actually the first holiday thing I bought and the top for some reason was just so weird it catfished me like it looked nothing like the picture and the boob part on it was just so strange. It wouldn't cover my boobs, but it wouldn't like push them up or it wouldn't just sit on them. It was just like flat straight down and the material was like bending outwards. Like it was really strange. Didn't look like that on the model. And then I kept playing around with it and I ended up snapping the top because I was trying to make it work and it just wouldn't. And I broke it. So I was then left with the bottoms and the worst part is I love the design of it. Like I think it's so pretty. And the colours are so nice, I don't know if you can see it, multicoloured band and it's so stretchy, fits like a glove, but I had no top to go with it and I thought I'm not ordering that same top because it was just so weird. So that's why I got this purple top from Boohoo because it's got purple around the edges and that's a perfect match so I'm very pleased with that. So if I do want to wear these instead of the purple bottoms I can wear these together. And the best part is this was away in my wardrobe and I couldn't actually remember the different colours it had in it. Like I knew it had purple but I didn't bother to go and check so I just risked it, got a purple one and look at that. I'm a genius. Moving on to Pretty Little Thing, I got this orange bandeau stripe bikini. It looks like this, again this style, so nice because no tan lines and even though it looks small, there is a lot of room here and the knot makes sure everything is really secure, fits really nicely. And the bottoms again are high leg or high waisted. I feel like that style is really in. Don't get me wrong, I don't think it's the most flattering for my body but it does cover like the little part of my belly. And does make my legs look a little bit longer. So yeah, they're the bottoms. Just love the colours on this. Final one from Pretty Little Thing love the design on this this is like a bamboo print and it buttons up this sort of looks like a mankini i promise when it's on it doesn't look this tiny like everything is kept in okay 
and the straps on it again are very wide like what did I say was very wide oh the swimsuit yeah the straps are very wide so I have to keep sort of pulling it in but it's not that much of a problem like I feel like it's gonna stay on <laughs> So yeah, that one from Pretty Little Thing. And finally, because I've been talking way too long, I got this white set off ASOS and it actually doesn't really match. The bottoms are a bit more bluey white and the top is pure white. The top is ASOS and the bottoms are Pretty Little Thing but off ASOS and they're just the little bottoms with the string sides. And then this is another push-up bikini but it's quite a bit more padded. I actually didn't realise it was this extreme in terms of how much it pushes the boobs up i'm not complaining like it looks good but yeah i didn't really need that like i'm fine with just a non-padded bikini it doesn't bother me i need a drink because i've been talking for so long so guys there we have my summer holiday clothing haul now that i filmed this i'm just so excited to go on holiday it's in like 50 days or something like that yes i am canting i really hope you enjoyed this haul i hope you enjoyed the things that I've shown you if you did please remember to give this a thumbs up and I might do a pack with me because I love like organizational videos so I'll show you me packing my stuff hopefully don't hold me to it I've got quite a busy two months coming up actually I've got two assignments due in May and an exam and then in June I have my driving test which I'm really scared about and my birthday and then holiday like all in the space of less than two weeks so yeah it's going to be a bit manic but I'll try and film as many holiday related videos as I can I love watching them anyway yeah I'll stop rambling now thanks for watching guys I will see you in my next video